Welcome to Chinuch at Home number 46. Thank you, Yeshiva Darach Aliyah, Chazal can tell any time. Chazal tell us there are three things that depend on muzzle of our children, our panasa, and also how long we're going to live. It's not dependent on our zuchus. No matter how many merits we have, that doesn't change the muzzle. The muzzle's like fixed. However, as that same Gemara the toast was on that Gemara in Moed Katan, I think Chavches, points out that Chazal tell us elsewhere in Shabbos that actually Jewish people have no muzzle. Ain muzzle Yisrael. Because we are above muzzle when we activate tefillah. The Lashon of the Marasha on that Moed Katan is Nefishe Rachamei. An abundance of Rachamim. It's the abundance of requests. Please, Rabban Shleilam, I'm asking you of a matnat chinam, that my child should be happy. My child should have the right teachers, the right opportunities, the right adults in their life. Protect my child from predators, has for shalom, groomers, has for shalom. There are so many things for me to ask for HaKadosh Baruch Hu with regard to my child's health, their ruchnias, their growth in Chumash, in Korea, in just reading accuracy and fluency is huge. There's so much to ask for. And the Chazal are really telling us that even though a child is born at that moment with a specific constellation, the mo- that moment of birth determines, based on the exact positions of all the planets, the muzzle of this child. Muzzle comes from Lashon Zal, which means to flow down. The muzzle, the flow of Shefa, that will come down for this child has been determined at the moment of birth. However, ain muzzle Yisrael. We have no muzzle because we can override whatever our fate is meant to be through tefillah. Tefillah seems to be the one item that is the override that will reboot our muzzle. And therefore, we it behooves us as parents who our children basically don't have any other advocates. Okay, maybe our grandparents are pray, praying for our, our children too. But... But essentially, one of the greatest responsibilities we have as parents is to be the ones that are going to increase the abundance of tefillah, whether it's Friday night, whether it's on Yom Tov and Shabbos. We're begging Hashem, please, Baruch Shalom, more than anything else, please open the minds of our children. Never put a cap. Never believe that your child is special ed and can't go beyond here that their asperger's can't go beyond here that this child um, uh, uh, only can go so far with their brain um i've quoted before the book sunrise by barry kaufman check it out sun is spelled s-o-n sunrise there are there there's no such thing as a child that cannot go beyond this limit and the reason why is because tefillah is an override it can override anything. And therefore, if I have a child that lacks seichel, common sense, or some other uh, seeming disability, my job as the parent is nefishe barachamim, is to increase an abundance of rachamim in Shemona Esrei, at the end of Shemona Esrei. And even walking to shul and back, uh, waiting at a bus stop or going in a car for a journey, waiting at a red light, it should be shkura befinu. It should be something that flows off our lips. Please, Rabbi Nishalaylam, give all the siyata dishmaya that's necessary for my child to be a mamin, a very strong lover of Torah and Yiddishkeit, healthy, in ruchnius, in gashmius, emotionally, physically, and in the schus of knowing that the takeaway here is we always have our mouths wherever we go. We always have our minds wherever we go to think about Rabbi Nishalaylam, Please, I know whatever muzzle my kid has, it's not etched in stone because tefillah overrides it. And until my kid figures out on their own that they're responsible for davening for their own siyat Dishmaya, I have been gifted this child and I have the responsibility as a parent of this child to change their muzzle. Hatzlacha Rabbah.